Hey guys, this is Alex from MarketWise Asia and in this video, I'll walk through with you the biotech industry and whether it is the next industry to boom. Okay, so before we go into that, just want to share with you the upcoming NASDAQ trading festival that's coming up on the 23rd and 24th of July 2022. Okay, so I know, I know, so the market are crashing Again, you know, inflation has reached a new 40-year high and consumer confidence is at an all-time low. But that doesn't mean that it is the time for you to start panicking. In fact, it is the time for you to get serious and make sure you're doing everything that you can to deepen your understanding of the stock market and learn how to profit from this crash. And that is why we are bringing more than 10 world-class market experts through this NASDAQ trading festival, okay, on the 23rd and 24th of July to share with you the insider knowledge on today's fast-paced market and economic condition, okay, which could be a historic buying opportunity. So, as you can see from this side, right, okay, we have a quite a number of speakers and of course, the keynote speakers is actually Larry William, all right? All you do is just to click on the register now button and you're all good to go okay not only that all right just by registering for this event all right you get to participate in our lucky draw and also receive a bonus report and video all right so the lucky draw you get to you know a chance to win a staycation the art of explosive profits and also limited edition nets flash pay card okay and for the bonus materials you get to have the us stock sectors cheat sheet okay all you have to do is just to register for this event. All right, so the website is marketwiseasia.com slash NTF2022. And if you are watching this on YouTube, you should be able, able to see the link on the description. And if you're watching on Facebook, you should be able to see uh, the sign up link in the first comment. Okay, so in this uh, video, as I mentioned, right, I'm talking about the biotech industry. Okay, I'm not sure about you. Okay, I, at least in Singapore context, I don't see a lot of you know, trainers or educators talk about this biotech industry yet. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think maybe I could be one of the first few to talk about it. Okay, so this is the um, ETF. Let's go through the chart over here. This is the ETF over here, the XBI, ETF Biotech. So as, as you can see that, you know, the biotech has started to actually, you know, move up already while the indices, for example, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the Dow, it is still hovering at the low over here. So for comparison, okay, let's take a look at the S&P 500 over here. So it's still hovering at the low level over here. So uh, let's go back to the XVI. Okay, in fact, there are two uh, main biotech. ETF to look at, but you know, for just comparison sake, I'm just using the XBI as an example. Then the other one is actually the IBB. Okay, so for the XBI, right, is the XBI over here, as I mentioned, starting to run. Okay, and if you do a comparison over the SP 500 ETF, the SPY, all right, you can see that you know, while as I mentioned, right, while the S&P is still hovering near the low, okay? It is, in fact, the XBI, the biotech industry, is actually leading right now. It is relatively strong, and in fact, it is actually, you know, quite strong, okay? Yeah, so how do I manage to sieve out this uh, strong industry, all right? It is a very simple, okay? I'm going to share with you a free tool that you can use, all right? It is, in fact, this uh, ETFscreen.com, okay? You just head over to performance over here, all right? And then you'll see this screener out here. All you have to do is just to exclude short fund, leverage fund also no. For the dollar volume, right, I normally put about 500K. All right, so basically all the big industry, all the big ETF should be inside already. So all you have to do is just to click on the um, update page. All right, so you can uh, filter through the past one month's performance over here. Okay. 
All right, there you are. Can you see? Of course, you know, um, the Chinese sector's stock market has started to move already. Okay, but well, of course, this is not the main topic for today. All right, but you can see that the biotech ETI, XBI, or even some of the healthcare, you know, biotech industry subsectors like what medical breakthrough ETF, S Bio, uh, genomic and biotech are the, all are the smallest one. They are also starting to run like genomic immunology and healthcare. They are all starting to run. Can you see from this uh, biotech ETF XBI for the past one month? It is actually one of the best performance within the past one month. In fact, it achieved a return of about about fourteen percent. So this industry is actually leading right now. It is actually leading right now. All right, and normally you know um, I know there's still a lot of kind of inflation scare, recession scare, and such. It Let's say, for example, if okay, if the market is really going to bottom out really soon, okay, nobody knows. But as of now, the market it is still in a downtrend. Just want to let you know, it's still in a downtrend. All right. Um. Yes, still in a downtrend. But you know, um, the biotech it is leading. Let's say, for example, if the market really turn, okay, in July. Or in, or in August, then I believe the XP, XBI, the biotech, it is going to move up even higher. Okay, just for your knowledge, right? Generally, in uh, July, seasonals, right? The uh, index is actually doing pretty well in July. So it, it is typically a good month for the indices in July. And if you take a look, if you take a look at uh, some of the indi indicators that I'm looking at right now, so if you just look at the cloud to determine whether it is in an uptrend or in a downtrend, you can see that you know XVI, all right, has been in a downtrend since the early 2021. While the indices, you know, the S&P 500, it is still moving higher, right? The S&P 500 actually peaked at about um, last year, last year, late last year, while the Biotech has started to fall since the early 2021. So this has been quite a long downtrend and it seems like they are the first one to get out of this downtrend. And recently, uh, not recently, for just I think two days ago, price has just broken above the cloud. All right. So this could signify the start of a potential uptrend already. And if I add in my central pivot range over here, okay. You can see that you know price has already you know above the CPR central pivot range for two consecutive months. All right, this is the first month. Last month, last month price has actually broken above the CPR, and this month it is also above the CPR and also right now above the cloud. So this means that the biotech is based on my way of reading the market. It is actually in a uptrend now, and if you compare within the uh, ratio, you know, which is relatively stronger or what, right? For example, you can use the XBI, XBI uh, versus the S&P 500. This is a very interesting ratio over here also. You can see that uh, for the past um, one year plus or so, since, you know, the also the early 2021, the biotech has been underperforming the S&P 500. Basically, the general market has been underperforming. So it is always in a downtrend and it's only like recently, you know, the XBI has been you know, outperforming the overall market. And this is actually, you know, has also broken above the cloud. And so which means that let's say, for example, if the market is going to turn uh, within the next few months or so. All right. Then I believe, you know, the biotech has more room to move up higher. Okay, It is very likely to outperform the uh overall market, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ as well. And if you take a look uh, between the tech sectors, okay, you can do a comparison between the tech sectors and the S&P 500, okay? XLK, for example, the tech sector versus the SPY, right, you can see that, you know, it is still underperforming the index, it's overall still in a downtrend. So, you know, comparing the technology sector to the biotech, I think biotech, it is a leading sector right now. This is the ratio between the XLK over XPY. You can see that it is still below the cloud and also below the central pivot range. All right, typically. And for the biotech, 
XBI versus the S&P 500 ETF, you know, it is starting to head higher already. So this is the reason why I'm uh, pretty bullish in the biotech industry over here. Okay, and let's say you want to know what are the biotech stocks to look into, right? You can go to this etf.com slash, you know, just XBI. You give you a component stocks over here. This is the SPDR SMP Biotech ETF. You know, just scroll down. You can see that you know um, these are the top holdings in the XBI ETF. And if you realize that you know the XBI has a lot of biotech stocks, so it is actually very very well diversified. So a lot of these are small, big, medium biotech companies are all inside. So even the top 10, it is just consisting of just 13.73% only. Okay, so this is um, well di diversified ETF. And if you don't know what single specific stocks, you know, to buy or to trade, right? Then I think the next best option is to just buy into this XBI. Okay. Oh, by the way, right? Whatever I share today is just for education and informational purpose. It is not a recommendation to tell you what to buy or what to sell, right? Alex is always wrong. So please don't copy me. Huh? This is just for educational purposes, all right? And the other ETF that I mentioned is actually the IBB, all right? IBB, ETF.com slash IBB. This is the iShares ETF over here. Uh, this is also the biotech, but if, if you realize that component stock is a bit different. So a lot of these are big uh, biotech are in this ETF. So the top 10 stocks is, has already comprises about 52.6% of the whole weightage already. So in terms of diversification, all right, and in terms of getting some of the smaller uh, biotech stocks, all right, XDI will seem to be a better buy, okay, a better XETF to go into. All right, this is just my personal opinion. So yeah, moving forward, okay, we shall see how it goes. You know, let's say for example, you know, in July, August, if the market is starting to really turn, okay, I believe that the XBI has uh, much more room to go higher. And once again, I'm, I'm just going to tell you that, you know, overall, overall, the whole market, okay, uh, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow, it is still in a downtrend, okay, but generally, you know, if the market is going to turn and uh, some of this industry, you tend to lead first and XBI could be the next potential one. Okay, once again, Whatever I share today, it is just for education and informational purpose. You know, uh, it's no recommendation to tell you what to buy or what to sell. So please do your own due diligence. And moving forward, okay, maybe in the coming Friday, you know, uh, late night market talk with Alex, I'll go more in depth into this XBI and also IBB, the biotech uh, industry. So, and thank you so much for doing this uh, video. And lastly, uh, just to remind you that the NASDAQ Trading Festival do register for this event. The keynote speakers will be Larry William. And all you have to do is just to go to the link. If you're watching on YouTube, you should be able to see the link in the description box. And if you're watching on Facebook, you should be able to see the link in the first comment. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys again real soon.